let's take a look at number 36. That is Sudoku. Um, the problem of solving algorithm problem is not just uh, just uh, you, uh, we should be able to solve the problems by writing the code, but we are also uh, required to ex explain our thoughts. So I find it that it find creating this YouTube channel and recording these videos is a ver is very helpful to me to explain myself. So when during an interview. I would let the interviewer understand why I did this and what's my th what what is my thought, and uh, yeah, I strong strongly encourage you to do the same, to to speak aloud when you are writing a code. Okay, number thirty six, that is Sudoku. Yeah, determine if it's uh, valid. Only the field cells need to be valid. So this is a board nine nine. Each row must contain the one nine without repetition. Yeah. Also, column without okay, so the small cell 33 three sub box would also without uh, repetition. So, like this, this is the uh, input format of this board. The dot means empty, so it's true because no one, no, not no numbers it is re duplicated in this box or in this uh, column, column or in this row. A pseudo board. Could be valid, but not necessarily solvable. So, yeah, only the field cells need to be valid. So we don't need to check whether this board is valid, but only check the repetition. Well, it's very simple. Simple, actually, we could do this uh, with brute force. Uh, just uh, with one pass to check the row, one pass to check the column. One pass to check the 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 the, the, the sub box. So with three passes, brute force with three passes. Well, this would be O, but there's no because the size is fixed. So with three passes, and the would be nine nine. Three. Actually, during the three passes, the first we loop through this row and check if this row is uh, unique. Uh, is has only unique numbers and check this one, and then check the row the column. It seems that we can check the 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 row and the column and the sub box at one pass, right? Let's improve it to one pass. Yeah, for that, for 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 that, we need to check for like we are we're meeting the number five. We need to check if five exists in this row. Three existing in this row. Six existing in this row. So. We can create, yeah. We can use a array to 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 store the existence, right? So we create uh you used. I'd like to say is used. Uh, the first one is new uh, uh new array. Nine. Okay. In row, cost is used in column. We use this three array to to track the existence occurrence. Column new array nine. Cost is used in sub. New array. This will be three, one, two, three. Oh yeah, it's still the nine. Okay, for now we traverse through all the nodes, all the uh the the point. Because it's fixed to fixed to nine, we just use nine.
Now, if is used in row, just check if it is check uh, this number is if it is duplicated. If it is, we return uh, right away. Return false. And after that, if it does not exist, we just update the update the three uh, array. Right? It's pretty straightforward. Which is uh, four i j. We cache it. Four i j. Tom. Undefined or zero, both false is in JavaScript. So if it's used in row or it's used in column, oh, wait a minute, it should be there as an index. So this is I, yeah, I, no, or is used in sub. This one is not I. The sub box index equals one zero one two three four five six seven eight right. What's the index? Index should be uh one two three two one two three four five three plus three. Okay, so it should be math floor i divided by three right this is one zero one two three this is one okay and uh, plus math floor j divided by three but like this is uh for here the j should be two plus and divide uh, times three i think so for these here, j should be two, two times three, six, six plus uh, six plus. It should be one, one, right? So it should be uh, seven. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's right. So this is sub box index. Uh, num return false and update them now update them into true update this true update this true and finally return true let's submit it should it should work right it's pretty really straightforward. No, it is not. Cannot read property five on undefined. Yeah. Undefined. Ah, uh, oh god. My bad. Hmm. Ah, my bad, my bad. In JavaScript, if you knew array, it will be undefined. So there is, it's no pa. It's not possible to do this. How we can how can we do this? We just map map item. Actually, don't just use this thing. Okay, so new array. This will give us arrays in array. So it give us a matrix. Hmm. 
still not work. Uh, why? Problem is, let's say new array nine map new array. Empty. Hmm? Why empty? Ah, God. You cannot be map. Okay, feel. Let's feel Z zero. This should be okay. Aha, uh -huh, empty cannot be used to map because this is there's no empty it's, there's no item there hmm what okay no it's right this is right and this is right it's used okay okay Return false. Console log. We should say I J is used I is used sub, sub box. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Okay, the index is zero three. Zero three. Ah shit. Uh oh. Hmm. We forgot the empty character. My bad. Sad. Interviewers will will pick this on me, I think. Wow, this man. Eh? Uh, it's still. Uh, it's still not okay. Okay. okay, this is three, four, six. Yeah, the second one, no, and then five uh, here, five, nine. Okay, okay. Uh, five six. Aha! Uh -huh. Shit, is you economist should be J. Yeah. My bad. Wow, I'm really not good at algorithms. I tried the brute force yesterday and I say okay I can Finish this by improving the improving the for improving the for loop, improve the traversal. But uh, I made a yeah. It look like my look at my submission. I failed four times. This is the fifth time. Okay, it passes finally. Okay, this is all for this for this one. I just pay more attention. Yeah, when you when you do traversal. See you next time. Bye bye.